Professor Riley, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is John Scully, I'm the manager of Salford Museum and Art Gallery and it's my pleasure to welcome you here this afternoon. Because we have the most charismatic speaker I've ever heard, Harold Riley, I won't be saying too many words. But I would like to point out the artist, Nigel Walker, who's at the back, with the lovely tan and the flat back. And from the Museum and Art Gallery's point of view, particularly Nigel, I'd like to thank you for the just stunning work that you've put in to create this exhibition. And if we could be cheeky, I'd also like to thank our exhibitions team, who have worked so closely with Nigel to pull everything together. That's Amy Goodwin over here, and we have our, our technician, um, Dave Robinson, who's somewhere at the back there. It's interesting, isn't it? There's a, there's a saying that every painting, no matter what the subject, is a self-portrait. And if you can, I'd like you to take that thought as you look around Nigel's exhibition this afternoon and see if you can find the artist behind the pictures that are uh, on these walls. I admire your work, Nigel. You wanted me to say that earlier, but I wanted to wait until now. So, again, thank you very much. I'm going to say no more, but I, am, I do have the pleasure of introducing Professor Harold Riley, Salford born great internationally renowned artist who will say a few words. Well, that's quite a, quite a build-up, ladies. Mr. Mayor, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to come and open Nigel's exhibition. I did see some of his work some time ago, and I was very impressed by it. I think it had a feeling of place, and it had the feeling of somebody who cares about people. And I think that the most important thing in a way, is it had a feeling of place. I remember at school, Salford Grammar School, we had a teacher, an English master, called Mr. Nutter, which was a very unfortunate name, I think. But he, he introduced a poem, a long poem, by William Wordsworth, which is called The Prelude. And what The Prelude is really about is about a spirit. It's about what happens when you grow up and how you grow up and how it stays with you. It's about a plastic power that comes inside all of us. And that plastic power, Wordsworth says, comes from where you were born and how you're introduced to the place and the people. And it develops in you something that never leaves you. And I think that that is a very important element in people's lives. Because, you know, sometimes people don't like where they were born. They don't enjoy it. And I remember in New York City, I had to make a drawing of a very famous man called Alistair Cook who used to broadcast during the war. We used to listen to him on the wireless. He, he wrote, he presented something called a letter from America, which was wonderful for us because we could hear what it was like in another country, and we could hear what it was like in a place that didn't have rationing, clothing people. So I met him in Fifth Avenue, and he was being interviewed. Well, we both were being interviewed, uh, interviewed by a gentleman, and the man who was interviewing us said, well, we'll start with you, um, Mr. Cook, because you're the elder of the two. Where were you born? And he said, I was born in Manchester. I said, no, you weren't. So, pardon? He said, you were born in Salford at number 11 Irwell Street. And he said, well, how do you know that? I said, because I've drawn it often enough, because you came from there. And she said, well, you see, I don't say so, but because most people over here wouldn't know where it was. But Manchester, they may have an idea. I said, well, I know where it was, but where it is. But, what you, but you see, the thing is that, in a way, he was right. It's not really the name. It's what's inside you about the place. He didn't like it. He couldn't get away quick enough, he said. He 
said, I always remember the absurdity of being in the house. And when I was a boy, I remember all the streets were black. The street itself was black, but people got on their hands and knees and they cleaned the front step and they cleaned in front of the front window because that was their little bit of white in the blackness. And the atmosphere, but you couldn't see out of the town. And he said, I remember, he said, being in the house and my father's got to fight and my granddad's got to fight and the room was full of slugs so my mother said, go out in the fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fresh air was just as bad as it was inside. <coughs> But it was my home, and it's always been my home. <coughs> and it's been somewhere that has always been to me a wonderful subject, as it clearly is to Nigel. I think a lot of people don't understand it. When they look at Larry's paintings, they still don't understand it, because he's created his own world, but the world comes from here. But to me, I feel in the middle of it. So I would take back entries, and I remember I was offered a show by a gallery in Bond Street, Fine Art Society, and I'd just finished that school at the place, so I sent a lot of pictures down, and the first ones I sent were of back entries, but back entries during the summer, when the sunlight spilled on all the walls, in the winter when there was snow, and also when it had rained and there was reflections on the table. And I got the letter back, and it said, Dear Harold Riley, I must say we know of your ability, etc. But we find the pictures a little sordid. I always remember that, that they found the back entry sordid. Well, I didn't find the back entry sordid, and I never have. And I don't think Nigel does either. So, I'm very pleased to come here. This room I've known really all of my life. I remember over in that corner when I first came in here, there was a very large, huge painting of part of the Lake District. And when I was 11, Larry came to the top of grammar school and he saw this drawing I'd done of a back entry. And he said, oh, I think that, I think so we should show that to Mr. Frank who was buying his work at that time. So I brought it here, which I showed it to him in front of the end of that room there. And he said, Mr. Frey, who was the one who collected that, he was John's predecessor. And I'm pleased to say he had the same kind of spirit. And he said, well, he said, uh, I think we should buy it. How much do you want for it? Well, I had no soap, he said, six quarters, only a pound. So, <laughs> No. So Larry said, 30 shillings, sir. <laughs> so, 30 shillings. As soon as I got the money, I went straight to the co-op, Pendleton Church, and bought a shirt. A nice shirt with a big hat on it. But I remember the room because I showed here many times. The Salford Art Club used to show here on Friday night. And I think it looks grand with all these pictures in it. I'm very pleased to see pictures from Salford at any time. But um, I'm very pleased to see all of you coming and supporting me too. And I think Amy and her staff of John said it up. It's very difficult to hang pictures when they're all different sizes. You know, it's, it's easy when they're all the same size, you can just put them in a row. But I think what Amy and her group have had to do is to arrange them. And they've done it seemingly very well. So, on behalf of my wife and I, I'd like to hand the proceedings over to our mayor, um, who will formally open Nigel's exhibition. Thank you. Well, thank you very much indeed, uh, Harold. I've always had a great uh, admiration uh, for artists and painting. Uh, because uh, I can't paint myself. In fact, as a painter, I'm a jolly good golfer. And my handicap is 21, which is a handicap in golfing terms. 
but one of my late wife's great friends was a lady called Christine Healy, and she was an artist in residence at Salford University, and I have a number of her paintings, and one in particular is organic, which I've got in my land. And every time I walk past, that Janet watches me. If I feel a bit miserable, the Janet feels me, looks miserable. If I feel happy and I've enjoyed myself, the Janet looks happy and joyful. And now I think, is the artistry behind the painting. You have a painting, but you've got to have the artistry that's been behind it. And this exhibition, I think, um, reflects uh, what I've just said, the interpretation of the artist, of the painting. And uh, I have great pleasure in actually declaring this exhibition open. And thank you very much indeed uh, uh, for wanting it to the uh, Museum of Art. Please enjoy the show. And Nigel is here. If anybody has any questions, today is your opportunity to pick the brains of uh, an artist. Please enjoy. Thank you. Yeah. 